when we last left off, we almost finished the gavel handle, didn't quite get there. Uh, we did need to go back in and add some threads on this, so I went ahead and showed that this was from the edge to this next part here, point 0.4, just like the drawing shows here, point 0.4, and that it's 3 eighths of an inch. So let's come back in here, dimension between this point and this edge, and type in 3 eighths. Well, what's half of 3 eighths? Because we want 3 eighths divided by 2. Uh, when you divide by 2, you're actually multiplying the denominator by 2. So instead of 3 eighths, it's 3 sixteenths. And just like any of the other ones, we still need to show that this has a cutting bit. You can't make a perfect 90 degree cut on something like this. I forgot to add the dimension, so let's dimension in between. 30. Finish your sketch. Let's go to Revolve. Cut. Pick both of those. Your axis is the z-axis. And select OK. Now we need to make sure that this is going to be threaded. So let's click Thread. Select this endpoint here. And specifications, they have 3 8 16 UNC. And our drawing calls for 3 8 16 UNC. Cool. I think we are done with this. Let's see what it looks like looks like a handle good let's just double check we used all these oh we did not do this part yet uh, 30 degrees still gonna have the 60 degree angle so let's come back into here we have one less one last sketch new sketch flip it over slice graphics and It's going to be easier if we project the geometry of this. So let's do that. Tab, 30 degree angle. Okay, and now all we have to do is dimension between this point and our origin to show how far apart these are. It's supposed to be 0.3 divided by 2, which is 0.15. Finish your sketch. Revolve. Cut. Axis is the z-axis. Click OK. Now let's double check. Okay, these all have the 30 degree angle on them, so that's good. And... Boy, I think we got everything. If not, we're going to find it when we start dimension and stuff. Okay, next video is going to be on how to assemble all this together. So, we're done with this one. And, uh, good luck.